Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey, and I am back to do some more work on the junk mail folio. I'm using a digital kit, a digital journal kit from Calico Collage. Here I have some envelopes that I cut out of some of the craft colored packing paper, and I also have some new silicone mats. I'm going to play around with a little decoupage on the envelopes that I cut out. So I also have uh, this, I think it's botanicals uh, paper, decoupage paper, tissue paper from Tim Holtz. And this napkin is just a napkin that I had in my stash. For one of the envelopes, I'm gonna use the napkin and the other I'll use the tissue paper by Tim Holtz. This is collage page and I mentioned in a previous video that I didn't like it that much. I think I was just not using enough of it. Um, since then I've used it a couple more times and I do like the results better but I think I still prefer Mod Podge. I mean yeah the collage page doesn't come out sticky but I don't know. It's just I, maybe I'm just used to the Mod Podge. So here I'm just um, taking the piece of napkin that I tore off and adding it to the empty spaces. And the craft uh, packing paper that I'm using, it's not the heavier one. It is actually the thinner paper. So here I'm just tearing up some of the tissue paper, getting it ready to add to the envelope. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just take small pieces to add to the empty spaces. The brushes that I'm using are some of the brushes from Dollar Tree. And I think I like using a brush with uh, decoupage better than using a spatula. So I'm going to set those aside to dry and I'm just going to use a envelope that I cut using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board as a template to trace out another envelope using the packing paper. So I did that twice. And with these two envelopes, I'm going to do a little collage and just a little deco on them. So I'm just fussy cutting those out. I think this was a piece of the packing paper that I actually ironed the wrinkles out of. And I have some, a bunch of packing paper that's just crumbled up. I'm thinking about ironing those out and making a journal with nothing but packing materials. I don't know, I'll see what I have, but look for that, it may be coming soon. So here I'm just folding up the envelopes. And I have some of the papers from the kit and also some papers from another shop. I can't remember the name of the shop, but I will link to the kit that I'm using here. I thought that the kit from that shop was perfect to supplement the Beauty and Grace kit. So here I'm just roughing up the edges of the paper, doing a few little tears. I want it to look kind of worn. Then I'm going around the edges with Vintage Photo. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. 
the little tool that you see to the left with the red dot in the center I use that to also rough up the edges I'm not sure what the name of that is but if I can find the name I will link it in the description box below So here is the other envelope and I have the image of the lady that I uh, cut out previously. So I'm going to, I had trimmed her up and I'm going to use her as the focal point on this envelope. So I'm just tearing a piece of the paper and I added some book pages and here I'm trying to incorporate some washi tape. This is washi tape from Simply Gilded. And with most of my projects now, I am going to be trying to incorporate washi tape as well. My camera was skipping for some reason, so some things got cut out. But I think I got the feel of most of what I was doing. Here I'm just inking around the edges of the envelope. Now I've gone back to the decoupaged envelopes and I'm trimming those up. I did use the heat tool to speed up some of the drying. So I'm refolding it just to see how it's going to look. And what I'm working on here is a piece with stacked envelopes. So that's why all the envelopes. Initially, I intended to put it on one of the panels, but as I've been editing this video, I'm thinking it might function a little better as the cover. So I'm gonna play around with that in future videos. But here, I'm still just trimming up the excess around these envelopes. And I don't want them to be completely perfect. So that's why I didn't just take the scissors and trim it off. I kind of wanted it to have a rugged, rough edge. And I'm refolding the envelope. Now this paper is kind of not blending that great with this collection of papers, but I am going to use this piece that I fussy cut out from the papers to help it blend in a little bit better. So here I have just a piece of the paper from the collection and on each side I'm adding envelopes in different directions and I'm adjusting them, trying to get them to lay the best way possible. So I'm going to have envelopes on the left of that piece and envelopes on the right. So a lot of fiddling around and moving things around. And here I'm going to work on the placement for the right side. So I think we are ready to go with how they are laying. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of that flap off so that it won't create as much bulk. And I'm gonna start gluing them down. I'm only gluing them down by the envelope flap. That way they will act as flips or flaps <laughs> that open up. And they will alternate with the ones on the right hand side. But for now, I'm just gluing everything down on the left. And this is how they function. And here I'm going to start working on setting up things on the right. Now 
and I'm just doing the same process on the right hand side. I'm cutting off some of the flap and adhering it to the back side of my base piece. I'm using Barely Arts glue for this. And so this is how the envelopes are folding. And I'll probably go back and do some decorating of the other envelopes as well. But for now, this is how it's looking. I'm just burnishing down those folds. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little decorating on the envelope with the tissue paper. I'm making this little piece like a belly band and I didn't realize that I had two of the same flowers so close together. So I may be covering up that smaller flower on the other envelope. And here is a piece of sheer ribbon that I'm adding as a closure. And as you can see here, I was fitting to make sure that it's gonna work on that first panel, but I've again changed my mind and I think I'm gonna end up putting this on the cover. But this is what it looks like so far. I do need to close the envelopes and I will be decorating some of the envelopes. I also added a pocket, which did not get um, included in the footage. And here you can see how the belly band works as well. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back with more soon. I'll let y'all next time. Bye.